Hello everyone, Dark of All Trades here. The topic it seems people want to discuss the most with me is morality. It shows up in many apologist videos. It shows up in amateur religious videos with people who are new to philosophy. It especially shows up with people who heard an argument they think sounds good from their pastor or other apologist, and they think it's a good dunk on atheists. The idea of morality is rarely thought out when it comes to the religious aspect, and when it is, there seems to be an unwillingness to consider other viewpoints as potentially acceptable. This lack of nuance seems to be where the point of contention happens. When we accept that there is a diversity of moral systems, and the one we hold may not be perfect, or even necessarily better than the others, we're more open to discussion and understanding of others' views to the point where we can have a good chance of improving ourselves and our societies. So today, let's take a closer look at why secular morality tends to be superior to religious morality. So picture a world where moral compasses aren't GPS directed by ancient scrolls or celestial coordinates, but rather find their true north in the principles of reason, empathy, and the pursuit of human flourishing. Taking an academic exploration into the realm of secular morality, I am daring to challenge the venerable notion that ethical foundations must be etched in divine tablets. As we traverse the intricate landscape of ethics, we'll unravel why a morality firmly rooted in the pragmatic present, divorced from celestial caprice, not only withstands the scrutiny of reason, but also unveils the blueprint for a more inclusive, adaptive, and intellectually vibrant society. In the grand symphony of moral discourse where ancient echoes and divine refrains have long claimed center stage, we find ourselves at the precipice of a pragmatic shift. Today's academic sojourn beckons us to examine the orchestration of secular morality, a movement that endeavors to liberate ethical considerations from the dogmatic confines of religious prescriptions. As we meticulously dissect the philosophical sinews and cognitive sinuations of this discourse, I aim to unravel the tapestry of moral thought free from the sepia-tainted veils of antiquity. This intellectual voyage will bring us to explore the superiority of secular morality, a compass recalibrated with the faculties of reason, empathy, and earnest commitment to human well-being. In the crucible of this discourse, I assert that secular morality unshackled from the divine tether emerges not only as a viable contender in the arena of ethical frameworks, but as the paragon of moral sensibility. Grounded in principles that echo the symphony of human reason and compassion, Secular morality asserts its superiority in fostering inclusivity, moral adaptability, and a progressive ethos that strides confidently into the future. This academic pilgrimage, guided by the Lantern of Inquiry, seeks to illuminate the nuanced contours of this assertion, discerning whether, in the ground calculus of ethical considerations, reason truly prevails over revelation. Secular morality refers to a system of ethical principles and values that is not based on religious beliefs or doctrines. In a secular moral framework, moral principles are derived from reason, human experience, and the well-being of individuals and society, rather than relying on religious scriptures or divine commandments. As I stated before, I assert that secular morality, unshackled from the divine tether, emerges not only as a viable contender in the arena of ethical frameworks, but as the paragon of moral sensibility. Not to put too fine a point on it, Secular morality emphasizes human reason and compassion. Secular morality shows that it is superior through the promotion of inclusivity, moral adaptability, and a progressive ethos that continues to be useful into the future. In essence, secularism in morality necessitates a divorce from the divine edicts that often punctuate religious moral systems. It beckons us to traverse the moral labyrinth armed not with holy scriptures, but with the tools of rational discourse and empathetic understanding. This is not a rejection of moral principles, but a recalibration, a deliberate pivot toward a moral paradigm where the principles are not handed down from the heavens, but crafted through a crucible of human reason. Consider for a moment the implications of this paradigm shift. When we detach morality from religious doctrine, we liberate it from the shadows of divine authority. No longer are we bound by commandments etched in stone or verses handed down from a deity. Instead, we must engage in moral reasoning, drawing upon our cognitive capacities to navigate the complex tapestry of human values. To embody secular morality is to assert our capacity for moral autonomy, where the onus of ethical decisions rests on us as rational and compassionate beings. It places the responsibility for shaping our moral landscape squarely in our hands, and that, my fellow thinkers, is both a privilege and a formidable task. As we investigate secular morality, we uncover a set of foundational principles that resonate across the corridors of reason. The sanctity of empathy becomes a lodestar, guiding our moral deliberations as we recognize the shared human experience. Reason, the crowning jewel of our cognitive faculties, is enlisted as a sentinel, guarding against the pitfalls of dogma and superstition. Human well-being emerges as the North Star, guiding our ethical compass towards actions that enhance the flourishing of sentient beings. 
empathy, that exquisite capacity to place oneself in others' shoes, is the bedrock of our moral interactions. It prompts us to consider the consequences of our actions on others, fostering a sense of interconnectedness that transcends religious or cultural boundaries. It is the foundation upon which compassion and understanding are constructed. Reason, that mighty lighthouse of our cognitive voyage, allows us to navigate the treacherous seas of moral ambiguity. It demands that we scrutinize our beliefs, dissect our actions, and assess the consequences of our moral choices. In the realm of secular morality, reason becomes our moral compass, guiding us towards ethical decisions that are grounded in sound judgment. And human well-being? It's the ultimate end to our moral deliberations. Secular morality recognizes that the fundamental purpose of our ethical pursuits is to enhance the quality of life for all. It challenges us to question whether our actions contribute to the welfare of sentient beings and, in doing so, presents a moral framework attuned to the flourishing of humanity. As I lay the groundwork for this exploration, let us linger on the premise that secular morality, far from being a vacuum, is a rich soil from which the ethical considerations bloom, nourished by the waters of reason and empathy. Religious morality refers to a system of ethical principles and values that is based on religious beliefs, doctrines, or teachings. In this framework, moral guidelines are often derived from sacred texts, religious traditions, and the authority of religious institutions. Picture us as architects scrutinizing the structural integrity of ancient cathedrals. Our task is to assess the foundations of moral doctrines grounded in divine command. Do they stand unyielding against the winds of reason, or do they reveal fissures in their ethical architecture? Let our inquiry commence. At the very heart of religious moral systems lies the formidable doctrine of divine command, the belief that ethical obligations are rooted in the commands of a higher power. Yet this celestial tethering of morality raises profound questions. Does this reliance on divine command render morality arbitrary, contingent on the whims of a deity? If ethical obligations emanate solely from divine decrees, how can we distinguish between moral truths and the arbitrary dictates of an imagined celestial legislator? Consider the implications of a morality grounded in divine command. If right and wrong hinge solely on the proclamations of a deity, moral principles become contingent upon the capricious nature of that divine will. This raises not only theological dilemmas, but pragmatic concerns about the consistency and fairness of such a moral system. Can a morality divorced from rational scrutiny truly provide a stable foundation for ethical decision-making? To add a touch of wit to this intellectual inquiry, one might liken such a moral system to navigating a ship guided not by a reliable compass, but by a celestial magic eight ball, uncertain, capricious, and devoid of reasoned direction. As we scrutinize the sacred texts that form the bedrock of many religious moralities, we encounter a labyrinth of ethical directives. However, beneath the veneer of divine wisdom, inconsistencies and ethical quandaries emerge. Texts that claim divine authorship often present conflicting moral imperatives, leaving believers to traverse a maze of moral ambiguity. Consider, for instance, the varied positions on issues such as slavery, women's rights, and the treatment of non-believers found within religious scriptures. Are these texts unerring guides for moral conduct, or do they reveal the fingerprints of those human authors and the cultural context from which they arose? The presence of ethical diversity within religious texts invites us to question the absolute moral authority claimed by these doctrines. In the intellectual exploration of these sacred texts, we are not merely deciphering ancient scrolls. We are unraveling the intricate tapestry of moral narratives, discovering within them echoes of human values and societal norms across ages. Divine accountability, a cornerstone of religious moral systems, introduces a unique set of challenges. The notion that ultimate justice is meted out in an afterlife raises questions about the efficacy and urgency of moral responsibility in our present reality. If ethical transgressions can be absolved or punished in a realm beyond our mortal coil, does this not diminish the imperative of moral responsibility in the here and now? Consider the implications of a moral system where ultimate accountability is deferred to an afterlife. Does this not risk undermining the moral agency and responsibility of individuals within our present reality? The challenge lies in reconciling the concept of divine justice with the practical necessity of fostering moral responsibility and accountability in our temporal existence. In this contemplation, we find ourselves grappling not only with theological intricacies, but also with the profound impact such beliefs may have on the moral fabric of our societies. As we navigate the intricate tapestry of the religious morality, our examination of divine command theory, textual inconsistencies, and the challenges posed by divine accountability invites us to ponder the resilience of this ethical architecture. In the interplay between the celestial commandments and human reasoning, we are compelled to scrutinize the very foundation upon which moral edifices stand. So let's take a look at a topic I covered recently, that is, where faith and reason converge, a subject that encourages us to question whether the celestial blueprints of morality can withstand the scrutiny of earthly contemplation. 
As we descend further into the intellectual minefield of moral critique, our expedition now unveils case studies on examples, akin to scrutinizing historical scrolls for the footprints of morality. We shall unravel the tales where religious doctrines have, in their implementation, dictated the course of events. It is in these narratives that we discover the practical implications of moral ideologies. Are these stories testimonials to the moral fortitude of religious doctrines, or do they unveil ethical quandaries that demand our discerning scrutiny? Let the exploration commence! As we turn the pages of history, we encounter instances where religious morality has stood as a guiding force, or conversely, a catalyst for conflict. Consider historical events where the religious doctrines have shaped the destinies of nations and cultures. Are these instances of divine influence fostering harmony, or do they reveal the potential for dogma to ignite the flames of discord? Looking through the annals of time, we can examine the impact of religious moralities on the likes of crusades, inquisitions, and the conflicts born from divergent beliefs. This is where we scrutinize whether religious morality, when translated into historical actions, serves as a beacon of benevolence or a harbinger of strife. Our exploration extends beyond the dusty pages of history to the contemporary tapestry of our global society. Here, in the complex interplay of diverse cultures and belief systems, we witness instances where religious moral frameworks collide with evolving societal values. Is this tension indicative of a moral robustness that withstands the test of time, or does it expose the seams of ethical dissonance? Consider current issues where religious moralities intersect with debates of human rights, gender equality, and scientific progress. Do these clashes underscore the enduring strength of religious moral systems, or do they reveal a need for moral adaptability in the face of societal evolution? The examination of these contemporary crossroads prompts us to ponder the resilience of religious moral frameworks in the flux of our ever-changing world. As we navigate through the case studies, we encounter moral dilemmas and nuances that punctuate the landscape of religious morality. These are not mere abstractions, but the lived experiences of individuals grappling with the intersection of faith and ethics. Do these tales illuminate the moral clarity of religious doctrines, or do they unveil the complexities and gray areas that challenge the absoluteness of divine moral codes? We can dissect these moral intricacies, from issues of conscientious objection to debates on reproductive rights, and ponder whether religious moralities offer unerring guidance, or if they, too, navigate through the nuanced terrain of ethical uncertainty. In doing so, we confront not only the theoretical foundations of religious morality, but the practical challenges that emerge when divine ideals encounter the messy reality of human existence. As we traverse the landscapes of historical events, contemporary clashes, and the nuanced moral dilemmas woven into the fabric of religious morality, our inquiry deepens. These case studies and examples serve not only as windows into the past and present, but as mirrors reflecting the complexities of moral decision-making. As we ascend from the depths of our moral critique, our intellectual ascent now directs our gaze towards the expansive vistas of secular morality. Imagine this segment as a journey through the sunlit meadows of ethical inquiry, where reason and empathy blossom. Here we explore the merits of secular morality, a paradigm that beckons us away from divine dogma and into the embrace of humanistic principles. Is this departure from religious moralities a leap into the abyss, or does it unveil a promise of the more inclusive, adaptable, and ethical progressive terrain? Let our exploration unfurl. At the core of secular morality lies a distinct quality, an adaptability that allows ethical principles to evolve alongside the tapestry of human progress. Unlike moral codes etched into ancient texts, secular morality has the flexibility to respond to the dynamic currents of societal change. But, one might ask, does this adaptability compromise moral steadfastness, or does it signify a strength, an ability to respond to the evolving needs of humanity? Consider with me the historical trajectory of secular moral progress. From the abolition of slavery to advancements in LGBTQIA rights, secular moral frameworks have demonstrated an intrinsic capacity for growth. This adaptability, grounded in reason and an evolving understanding of human well-being, paints a portrait of a morality that is not bound by the shackles of historical prejudices, but charts a course towards a more just and equitable future. Secular morality extends an open invitation to the diverse tapestry of humanity, weaving a narrative that transcends religious, cultural, and ideological boundaries. It is a call to moral deliberation that includes voices from all corners of our global community. But, one might ponder, does this inclusivity dilute the moral principles at play, or does it elevate the discourse to a more comprehensive and universal level? Consider the ethos of inclusivity embedded in secular moral frameworks. Here, individuals are not judged by their adherence to a particular faith, but by the content of their character and the impact of their actions. In this realm, the universality of ethical considerations transcends the constraints of religious doctrine, fostering a sense of shared humanity that resonates across diverse perspectives. At the heart of secular morality is a commitment to ethical reasoning, 
an engagement with moral questions that demands intellectual rigor and critical thought. Here, individuals are not asked to accept moral precepts on faith alone, but are encouraged to scrutinize, question, and deliberate. But, one might query, does this emphasis on reason divorce morality from its transcendent moorings, or does it elevate ethical decision-making to a plane of intellectual integrity? Consider the role of ethical reasoning in secular moral frameworks. It is an invitation to engage in a continuous dialogue about the nature of right and wrong, free from the constraints of dogma. As I stated before, in this arena, reason becomes the lodestar, guiding ethical decisions through a labyrinth of moral complexities. As we navigate the sunlit meadows of secular morality, our exploration into adaptability, inclusivity, and ethical reasoning invites us to ponder whether this paradigm offers not only a departure from religious moralities, but a leap toward a more enlightened, inclusive, and intellectually vibrant ethical landscape. As we embark on the grand finale of our intellectual odyssey, our gaze turns towards the crossroads where common concerns about secular morality intersect with the landscape of our inquiry. Imagine this segment as a colloquium of skepticism and inquiry. Imagine this segment as a colloquium of skepticism and inquiry, where we address the lingering doubts and queries that often accompany discussions about superiority of secular morality. Are these concerns insurmountable hurdles or stepping stones toward a more nuanced understanding? Let the final act of our exploration commence. At the forefront of apprehensions about secular morality stands a specter of moral relativism, an anxiety that without a divine anchor, ethical considerations might descend into a sea of subjectivity. But, one might ponder, does the absence of divine command necessitate a descent into moral chaos, or does it invite an exploration of objective standards grounded in shared human values? Let me proceed by dissecting the concept of moral relativism within the context of secular morality. Here, we confront the challenge head-on, exploring whether a morality untethered from religious dogma can still uphold objective standards based on reason, empathy, and a collective understanding of human flourishing. In this inquiry, I am seeking not to dismiss concerns, but to illuminate the intellectual rigor underpinning secular moral frameworks. Concerns about the erosion of community and shared values often echo in discussions about secular morality. Is the departure from religious community life a dissolution of moral cohesion? Or does it open the door to diverse communities built upon shared humanistic principles? Through exploring the nuances of community formation within the framework of secular morality, we can examine whether the absence of religious dogma fosters a vacuum, or instead, offers an opportunity for communities to coalesce around the shared values, free from the constraints of doctrinal orthodoxy. As we scrutinize the landscape of secular ethical systems, it is crucial to confront critiques that question the robustness of these frameworks. Are secular ethical frameworks susceptible to pitfalls, or do they withstand the rigors of moral scrutiny? Through a meticulous examination of the criticisms leveled against secular morality, from charges of moral nihilism to concerns about the lack of a transcendent moral foundation, we come to a more solid answer. Through this questioning, we endeavor not to evade critique, but to confront it, addressing whether secular ethical systems provide a firm ground for ethical deliberation. In the grand tapestry of ethical considerations, the role of moral education takes center stage. Can secular moral frameworks adequately address the imperative of moral education? or do they fall short in nurturing a robust ethical foundation? To solve this, we look at the educational dimensions of secular morality, exploring whether reason and empathy can serve as pedagogical pillars, fostering a moral landscape that equips individuals with the tools for ethical decision-making. As our intellectual sojourn draws to a close, we find ourselves at the crossroads of common concerns. It then falls to us to be the ones dissecting fears and critiques with the precision of ethical surgeons. In this grand colloquium, we confront apprehensions head-on, exploring whether secular morality emerges from this crucible unscathed or reveals complexities that demands our discerning attention. As we bid adieu to this exploration, let the questions linger, for in the ongoing dialogue about morality, the quest for understanding is as enduring as the human capacity for reason and empathy. So as we stand on the precipice of our intellectual journey, it is fitting to cast our gaze backwards and distill the essence of our exploration. We traverse the realms of secular and religious morality, threading the labyrinth of historical narratives, contemporary clashes, and nuanced moral dilemmas. Our endeavor was not merely to scrutinize, but to glean insights that illuminate the comparative strengths and weaknesses of these moral paradigms. In the realm of secular morality, we discover the landscape marked by adaptability, inclusivity, and ethical reasoning, a terrain where principles evolve with the arc of human progress, where diverse voices harmonize in the chorus of moral deliberation, and where reason emerges as the lodestar guiding ethical decisions. This adaptive, inclusive, and reason-guided ethos forms the cornerstone of secular morality, a paradigm that, as we've seen, holds promise for a morally progressive future. Reflecting on our exploration, let's return to the thesis that propelled our inquiry, that secular morality stands as a superior ethical framework. 
Grounded in reason, empathy, and the pursuit of human well-being, secular morality emerges not as a mere rejection of religious doctrines, but as a recalibration, an elevation of moral discourse to a plane guided by the faculties of human intellect and compassion. The adaptability of secular morality to societal changes, its inclusivity that transcends religious boundaries, and its commitment to ethical reasoning all contribute to the assertion of its superiority over paradigms tethered to divine command. In concluding this intellectual excursion, we do not rest on the laurels of proclamation, but extend an invitation, an invitation to engage in ongoing dialogue and reflection. The questions posed, the critiques dissected, and the insights gleaned form the foundation for a dynamic discourse about morality, one that transcends the temporal confines of this inquiry. Let us not be the conclusion, but a call to action. Engage in discussion, challenge ideas, and contribute to the collective endeavor of refining our understanding of morality. Whether one stands within the embrace of secular morality, seeks solace in religious doctrines, or navigates the nuanced landscapes in between, the quest for a moral compass is an ever-evolving journey, one that beckons us to continuously examine, question, and strive for ethical excellence. In this call to action, the conclusion becomes a point of departure, a departure not from inquiry, but toward a future where the pursuit of moral understanding flourishes. As we part ways, let the dialogue continue, and may the pursuit of ethical enlightenment be an enduring beacon guiding us through the complexities of our shared human experience. So that's it for this one. So what did you think? There's so much I could talk about when it comes to the idea of secular morality and why it is superior to religious morality, and maybe I can cover more points within the topic at a later date, if there is interest. One of the most difficult aspects in making videos like this is focusing content to its main points. This was made for a slightly more basic understanding audience, as I could only touch very briefly on the points I had available. So I'm interested in points that you would like me to go over either in more detail, or if I haven't talked about them yet, to talk about. Thank you so much for making it to the end here. If you enjoyed navigating the maze of morality with me, hit that like button to demonstrate it. If you enjoy journeys like this through complicated topics in an easier to understand way, hit subscribe and be part of the next trip. Super thanks goes out to those who hit super thanks. PM Toner says, thanks. No, thank you, PM Toner. And Tigger62 gave one on my Professor Dark Explains Relative Privation video saying, Thanks, I like these little educational shorts, smiley face. Thank you, Tigger62. Those videos are what started this channel and my love for making YouTube educational content. If they help just one person, they are entirely worth all of the work. An even more extra special thanks goes out to my patrons, Calamitous Anima, Longhaired Lefty, Musical Ocelot, Jammin' and Bomb, and Kai Henningsen. You are the packing list that makes sure I have everything I need to make this journey. If you'd like to be the compass that gets me through the maze, you can join them for as low as a dollar a month at patreon.com front slash darkofalltrades. And as always, keep learning.